guys and welcome back to another player review on the channel now we're back to the icons and this has got to be one of the most iconic players in football history isn't it yes today we have got the base icon Pele he goes for over 2 million coins still at this point in FIFA and that is an absolute shit ton as a 98 Messi is also around that price tag so is he worth that, that amount of coins? Because that is huge. It really is huge amount of coins, isn't it? To blow on one player. Is he worth it? Is he better than Messi? That's what you're here to find out. And that's what you're going to find out in this video. So, if you do enjoy the play reviews today, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more player reviews, more squad builders, and more FIFA-related content. So, is he the greatest of all time? Well, we all know that he definitely bloody isn't. There's only one man who is the greatest of all time. And he is not featured in this team. It is, of course, Ben Tekesaurus, the absolute goat of real-life football. He's just amazing. And he's amazing on FIFA as well. Anyway, anyway, we'll get back to it. So, we've got base icon Pelly today. He looks absolutely fantastic, we've got to be honest. High medium work rate, right footed, five star skills and a four star weak foot. He is five foot eight. And as you can see there, this one has played 1,427 games and scored 1,473 goals and got 917 assists. And that is an incredible record, isn't it? Absolutely bonkers. 25 owners as well and I picked him up just under 2.2 million coins now looking at his stats he's got some great stats hasn't he he has got some great stats across the board pays 94 brilliant shooting category absolutely sacked apart from the shot power could be a bit higher but guys this is his base icon card remember that his base icon is cheapest card it's only got 84 shot power I think he's going to feel a lot more than that in game, to be honest, because a lot of icons do feel better than the cards suggest, I've got to be honest. Um, the icon powers, you don't know until you try them, you really, really don't, honestly. Some icons look absolutely shit and they turn out to be some absolute brilliant cards, so don't let icons underestimate you. And I don't think this man's going to... I hope he lives up to his money, but I don't think he will, I've got to be honest. At this stage of the game, there's a lot of coin, uh, a lot of players out there, the amount of coins he costs, and I don't think he's going to cut the mustard, but he might prove me wrong. That's what he's here to do, isn't he? As I said, shooting category stacked, passing stats, amazing. Lowest being is 81 curve, but he does have the finesse shot trait, so you know what that means, lads? It's 99 every time he hits the ball, um, when he's on the shot anyway. His dribbling category is phenomenal. Everything above 92 there, which is incredible. 97 agility and 94 balance being his standouts as well. Um, he can head the ball, actually. He's got 88 jumping and 83 heading accuracy. He's only 5 foot 8. I'm not expecting him to win many headers, but maybe he can. Uh, stamina is pretty decent as well for a base icon card. You know, compared to like uh, Cruyff, he's only got 79. This man does have that extra stamina, so he can last all game long. And the strength of 72 is pretty good, but the aggression is absolute crap. Um, he does have the finesse shot trait, as I've already said. Now, I've never watched Pele in real life. Um, I've obviously seen highlights, like probably many of you have. Um, obviously, he's not my GOAT. My GOAT is Lionel Messi. I just think he's amazing. I'm, he's, he's in my day. I've managed to actually see him play football in real life, so yeah, he's the GOAT for me. But let me know in the comments, do you think Pele is the greatest of all time anyway? But today we have got the base icon to review. Now let's get on into the clips and see if he's worth that massive price tag of 2.2 million coins. Here we go into match number one. Decent team, but I mean at this stage of the game, I do expect better. He has got a normal Navas, normal Neto, and normal Varane. So, fingers crossed, Pele is going to rule the roost and get us a hat trick in his first game. Let's go. Can we find him? Bit of a poo ball, but Lorente has got it. Nice link up play from Pele there. Cross goal shot. Lovely first time pass from Pele, but we couldn't get the goal in this situation. Oh, referee, get him off. Get him off. Is he any good at free kicks? Now, I'm not the best at free kicks this year, I've got to be honest. Green. He's at the green. Oh, good save by the keeper. That wasn't a bad free kick, to be fair. Oh, lovely one to play. 
Can Pele get in? He can, but the defender just puts him off. It was a left-footed effort. Didn't really trouble the goalkeeper, if I'm honest. Oh, lovely play. Lovely ball from Messi. Perfectly timed run from Pele, who puts it in. Bottom bins. What a goal. Great goal. Great run. And it all came from the GOAT himself, Leo Messi, with the assist. He's there again. Pele in the box. We didn't get any 45th minute scripts in there with that shot. Which is quite surprising, to be honest, because he had a really good opportunity. But we get it here anyway off the corner. Is that Tapsuba with a lovely head? Yes, it is. He's an absolute beast. If you did him on an SBC, you are a GOAT because he is unreal. So we go into our time and it's going to be 2-2. Pele does get himself on the score sheet and he's played okay. He's played okay. He has had a couple of opportunities to be fair. Some good that he should have put to bed really for a 2 million coin player. I know if it was Messi in the same situation, Messi would be bagging them all day. But good performance from him. I am still getting used to the card and the way he plays. But I'm, I am enjoying the card to be honest. Um, his pace seems good. The only thing that maybe a can't is that shot power of 84. I noticed he didn't really have the shot power and accuracy that I wanted it to in the couple of shots he did have. Obviously, he's put one to bed, but a couple of really good opportunities he has missed. But let's redeem himself. Let's go on and get the winner with him in this game, eh? Oh, lovely play. Lovely play again from Messi. Can he get a goal? He doesn't. He doesn't. He absolutely scuffs it on his left foot there. And maybe, just maybe, if he had five star, that might have gone on target or even in the back of the net. But I was unlucky. The angle was a bit tight, to be honest. I don't know how he got it so wide, if I'm quite frank. I thought he would have put it straight at the keeper, if anything. But he put it miles wide across the goal. Oh, lovely play. What a ball. What a ball across. Can he get in the box? No, we can't get it to him. Tevez gets absolutely mauled and then Kimmich is snapped in half. But lovely play. Great ball through. Unfortunately, we didn't get a goal. Oh, can we get it to Pele? Yes, we can. But again, he absolutely scuffs it wide. His left peg seems a bit shit. I've got to be honest, his left foot seems absolutely terrible. Oh, come on, Pele, can he get on the end of it? He can, but the keeper read me. He didn't go down. I tried the cheeky chip. That was my fault, I've got to be honest. Gutted, I didn't score there. So, Mo Salah comes clutch at the end. He's going to get a red card after this attack as well because he just absolutely snapped Pele for no apparent reason. But Pele in the first game, he's been a bit meh, to be fair. All right, he got on the score sheet. A couple of his shots haven't been what I expected them to be because he is a 2.2 million coin player, and so is Messi. And Messi would have put all of the chances he had to bed, no doubt about it. But first game, he was all right. Um, did enjoy, obviously, his five-star skills was good. His finishing was okay. His shot power does let him down, as I've mentioned. Obviously, dribbling's fantastic. Pace is fantastic. Um, passing's pretty decent as well. He's seen a couple of nice through balls, etc. Um, all in all, he's been okay. He hasn't been mind blowing. He's just been okay. But fingers crossed, in the next game, he can change my mind and absolutely blow me away. So, match number two, an absolutely terrible team at this stage of FIFA. Um, but these teams are the most scariest teams you come up against, aren't they? Usually, the opponents are absolutely unreal. So, fingers crossed he isn't, and fingers crossed Pele can get the hat-trick in this one. Lovely run from Pele, cuts inside, and that is Pele-esque down to a T. What a goal, five-star skills. Coming into play, lovely run, does Ramos, and obviously he's putting that in the back of the net. What a goal from Pele. He's redeemed himself already for the last game within nine minutes of FIFA. That was genuinely an amazing goal.
Pele's here. Pele's here. Pele is not here. Pele with the bursting run. Can he get past Diego Carlos? Yes, he can. Can we dink it? No, we can't. That was absolutely pathetic from me. Um, I was just thinking he was Messi, though. Messi's chips, honestly. He can be frigging anywhere on the pitch, and he can chip it in the back of the net. I need to stop doing that with anyone other than Messi. Oh, what play. What play from Messi. Can we get the volley? No, we can't. It's a great save. And there again, um, showing the lack of shot power on that volley. It wasn't a lot, was it? It was a literally a P-roll, to be quite fair. So that is definitely a con on the card. Is his shot power. One of the biggest cons for me, anyway. Does him. He does him. And he finds the back of the net. What a goal. Finally, he scored on his weak foot as well there. Absolutely does Ramos, cuts inside, lovely agility, lovely balance on show, great dribbling, great close control, and then a lovely left-footed finish. But you expect him to score then, don't you? Especially a 2.2 million coin player, but he did that this time. Brilliant goal. Half time in this one, and he has got a brace so far. Fingers crossed we can get the hat trick with him. Um, even though he scored two in this one, he redeemed himself a little bit with the first goal, because uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful goal. Second goal was okay as well. But, 2.2 million coin player, and he's really not blowing me away like other players have in this price tag. Like Prime, Icon, Moments, Eto. I've reviewed him, and yeah, I've reviewed him at 3 million coins, and now he's, what, he's a lot less than that. And he was fantastic, a lot better than this card. Prime Moments, Henri, I think he's better than this card. You've got other cards as well that are just a lot better. Messi, if, you, if you're looking for a player in this price tag, like Pele, get Messi team of the season, the centre forward. He's absolutely brilliant. He's honestly, he's one of the best players I've used on the game. He just fits the meta. I absolutely love the card and I'm so glad I got him untradeable because he's an absolute ghost. Um, he's definitely better than this Pele card. He's alright Pele, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't say he's worth 2.2 million coins at this stage of the game. Can we find him? Yes we can. Messi's creating the play. But this is normal Ramos catching up to him and tackling him like that. Again, he's a 2.2 million coin player. He should be doing better. Messi there again. Lovely play, creating the play. And that's exactly what Messi can do. I know Pele's got good passing stats, but he just doesn't seem to be as creative as Messi. And he just doesn't seem to be as good as Messi, to be quite frank. Lovely play from Pele. Can he get his hat-trick here? Yes, he can. I've said all that, and he's just gone and bloody redeemed himself and got his hat-trick and probably a rage quit as well. He's okay, lads. It, it, it's really hard to say that he's worth 2.2 million coins because I don't think he is. I think he's probably worth about the same amount of coins as base Cruyff, about 1.6 million. I think you are just paying for the Pele name, to be honest. Again, he is good. I'm not saying he's crap by any means, but there is a lot better player out there for this amount of coins. He's good, but he's not quite Carlin, is he? He's, as I said, Messi's better. You've got Prime Icon Moments, Eto. I'd even go far as to say Prime Icon Moments on Ray. Um, striker wise, there's just a lot out there at the moment. Obviously, got your, all your team, the season cards, etc., etc. There's plenty of cards around this price tag. And for me, I wouldn't go and blow 2.2 million coins on him unless you are a massive Pele fan. I'm not saying he's shit, but I'm not. I'm just saying he's not worth 2.2 million. As I said, Cruyff, baby Cruyff, is on par with this card, hands down. And he's about 1.6, 1.7 million. So I'd say if he settled around that price tag, it would be a definite go and buy, but he isn't. He's a lot more expensive, and I wouldn't say he's worth the extra coins compared to Cruyff. So here we go into the third and final game. And to be quite fair, it's probably the best team I've come up against as well. Really solid, some really nice cards in there. Still rocking Robin. Robin? I was going to say Robin slash Ribery. I don't know where that came from. He's still rocking Robin and Neves. 
uh, which are two beastly cards still on this game. Robin, one of the best uh, budget SBCs. I think he was going for about 150k, and he's honestly so usable. Yes, the weak foot's a bit shit, but he fit. He does fit the meta this year. But final game with Pele. Can he redeem himself a bit more? Yes, he has got what is it? Five, five goals in two games, which is still crazy. But he needs to perform a bit better than he has been. Oh, lovely play. Lovely play. Lovely skills. And again, that is how you use a Pele card, isn't it? Use that five-star skills. Have fun with the card. And score lovely goals like that. Absolutely doing the defender. The defender is sliding into next week there. Pele just skips around him and puts the ball into the back of the net. And that was against Van der Sar as well, to be fair. So, great goal. So, Pele's just been snapped. Now, if you know me, you know I'm absolutely diabolical at penalties. So, let's try and score. And there you go. Point proven. I'm shit at pens. One of the most weakest things about my game I cannot ever score a bloody penalty and I've proven it yet again Josh you absolute failure at life oh he fucks up can we get a goal no we can't because the defender's there absolute pace demon Justin or whatever he's called Justin just Saint Just I have no idea what his bloody name is so don't at me Oh, we find the space. We cut inside. We find the gap. And he's there again to put the ball into the back of the net. Great goal. Lovely tucked away finesse shot into that bottom corner. And what a brilliant goal that was. Again, sending the defender sliding into next week. What a finish. So we go into half time. We've just, just about clinched the lead at the later stages with Pele. But I mean, yes, we have battered him. Four shots on target to his one, which anyway so we have played well Pele again with two goals in this one maybe he's changed my mind a little bit thinking he's a bit better than what I'm thinking but there is some there is just some downsides to the card which no doubt about it would be fixed on his more expensive cards like his mid icon and his uh, prime and his prime moments obviously this is his lowest card so he's gonna have his faults isn't he he's not gonna be Top, top tier. He's good, but he's not quite Carly. His shot power does let him down, as I said. His run making, I've noticed, isn't actually that good. Even though he does have high, high, work, high medium work rates, it's not the best. Uh, he doesn't seem to make many runs. But apart from that, he's pretty good, to be fair. He's pretty good. And his weak foot shots, I don't know if it's because of the shot power. Um, I don't know what his composure is like off the top of my head. It's in the 90s, isn't it, I think. So it's not that. Um sometimes on his left foot he just doesn't feel that composed i know it's only four star like um but i expected it to be better it is pele at the end of the day can we find space on the edge let's have a crack oh it was close it was bloody close lovely finesse shot it's the post from outside the box there oh and that would have been a sensational goal for his trick, but it was a good effort Can we see his playmaking? See, that's poor, lads. That is a poor long pass. And again, if you bought Messi, he's around the same coins. I guarantee that would have been straight to feet, straight perfect ball. But he just doesn't have it. Just doesn't have it. On the edge, let's have another finesse crack. That one's in the back of the net, lads. And what a goal that is. What a finesse shot that is. Straight into the top bin. Wow, what a hat trick this has been. He's turned, turned my feelings around a bit. He's a bit better than, him, than I said in the last match. He's playing a bit better. Maybe it's because I'm learning to use how, how to use the card. Uh, but this game, he's been absolutely fantastic. And again, against the best opponent, well, the best team anyway, he's played really well. Uh, that finesse shot, unreal. Absolutely unreal. Um, but I'm still go going with gut feeling. For 2.2 million coins, I don't think he's worth it. I think 1.6, 1.7, like Cruyff, like base Cruyff. 
and I'd say he's worth it. He's just a bit too expensive in my eyes, but he's still a cracking card. He's still really good, and yes, he is still usable, still very meta, but he's just missing that a couple of little things which I know full well that his other cards would definitely have. Again, this is only his base card, so it's his worst card. And I guarantee if you use any of the others, they're going to be mind-blowing. Uh, just to improve those little things that this card doesn't do so well. Pele, can we get the ball to him? It's Messi. And there, there's exactly what I mean about Messi's passing. Absolute pinpoint. Can we get the goal? We do a couple of skills, but unfortunately, the defender does get a block in. So, we finished up in the last game with a hat-trick with Pele. A great performance from him. A really good performance. But, we get on into the player summary of this base icon Pele card. And, yes, he's good, lads. He is good. Is he worth 2.2 million? No, he is not. Not in a million miles for me. As I said, 1.6 million, 1.7 million. Thumbs up from me. He's just a bit tad expensive for what he does bring to the pitch. But he's a phenomenal card still. It's just his price for me. You are paying a bit for that name, that Pele name. And so you should, lads. So you should. If you want to use these rare icons, if you want to use the big names, you've got to pay the big bucks. And Pele is no exception. He is great, but he's not that top tier like a team of the season messy card as i said there's plenty of other cards on the game that are better than this one for a lot cheaper than this one but it is pele you pay big bucks for the big names and that's exactly why you pay for it but out of 10 i'd probably give him an 8.5 out of 10 now this is his lowest card and yes i know for a fact that his other two cards well other three cards um is mid prime and prime moments are definitely definitely gonna solve the problems of this card couple of the problems as i've mentioned a couple of times shot power is the main one for me um some of the time he just didn't feel like he his shots had any power to be fair on his left foot as well especially it his left foot lacked accuracy from time to time and i don't know why that was he did have high composure he does have four star weak foot but that was another minor con Curve, not a problem. Finesse shots are absolutely great because he does have the finesse shot trait. As you've seen, him score a lovely finesse shot goal right at the end there. So, all in all, brilliant card. Really fun card. If you're a Pele fan, you're obviously going to get this man, aren't you? You are obviously going to spend the money to get this man. And, to be fair, he'll do you a good job. He will do you a good job. But, he's just a bit expensive for me. I've used a lot of, lot of cards on this game. And I can tell you... He doesn't cut the mustard compared to some others around this price tag. That is the only corner I do have with the card. He's great. I'm not putting him down one bit. He is great. It's just the price tag for me that lets him down. Um, as I said a couple of times, Cruyff, if we match Cruyff base icon card, I'd say, yeah, definitely worth picking up. Hands down, no doubt about it, no question. But he's just a bit too expensive for me. So, all in all, great player, really fun card. He's going to do you the job. He is still meta. And he is pretty damn fantastic as well. So, guys, if you have enjoyed the player review today, you know what to do. Go ahead, smash that thumbs up button. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe. But I can confirm there is still only one GOAT, and it is Leo Messi. He is still an absolute GOAT. Just look at this record for me. Look at that record. 138 games, 131 goals, and 91 assists. Over 200 contributions in 138 games is absolutely sensational he is still the goat still brilliant and he only goes for two million coins so absolute bargain for me go and pick him up if you're looking for someone around that price tag hands down the best player i've used around that price so guys goodbye